Valley, Valley Life, and we're here tonight on a beautiful spring evening down in Bellevue with the Syringa Mountain School Hoedown. Yeehaw! This is Michelle Sando. She has children in the school. Michelle, tell me about Syringa Mountain School. Syringa Mountain School is our third year so public charter school, it's free for kids to come. Right now we have about 137 students and we are attracting families to our community because it is school choice and it is meeting kids where they're at. We're not cookie cutters. We all learn differently and this is a way for kids to learn. It's an arts integrated program and we just want to share the love and this is the third year for the hoedown, right? Yes, the third year. The last year we made 140,000. This year we're hoping to make about that much and we've worked really hard. We have a great parent council committee that's really dug in and the whole community is part of this time right now with donations and buying raffle tickets and it's a really exciting time for our school to display what we can offer the kids um, with artwork in the, the hoedown, and it's just a lot of fun. Well, I can't wait. Let's go on in. Yeehaw! the president of the board of Syringa Mountain School. Randy has one son in school this year and he'll have two next year. Randy, what is it that attracted your family to this school? Well, the Waldorf School and the Waldorf uh, Public School uh, as a charter school is a beautiful experiment. And it's an experiment because we are engaging kids in the arts, we're engaging kids in the music, as you can hear from the background. This is our sixth grade class playing violin. We're doing a tremendous job. And so it's really a family. The school is a family. And really, the relationships that we have with other parents and other kids and other families, it's a beautiful thing. And so I was attracted to that. But then when I dive deeper into what Waldorf education is about, it really intrigued me. And it's meeting the child where the child is in their education level and not just trying to stuff down a schedule of trying to learn things. So the child blossoms, and that's what's so beautiful about this model. What does it take to put on an event like this, Randy? Well, it takes a lot of work from the teachers and the parent council. They're all tirelessly working on this event, and uh, it takes really a community effort to pull something off this wonderful. And uh, it is a group effort, and it's wonderful to see the collaboration of so many wonderful people coming together to pull off something which is really important and we're here for the kids and we're here to support the teachers and so it takes a lot of time and effort and the parents and the teachers have really put the time in to pull off this wonderful event. Did you hear that? We're here for the kids. I'm Karen Bosick. Thank you for joining us on Ionson Valley's Valley Life. Until next time, I'm keeping my eye on Sun Valley for you. Ion Sun Valley, daily local news from beautiful Sun Valley, Idaho.